Hey everybody, Sean here, and I hope you're doing well. Recently, we saw a video where Jenna Winston told her story about how Jesus visited her in the psych ward and got into bed with her and played with her hair. If you haven't seen that, I'll leave a link to that at the end of this video. Today, she's going to tell another Whopper about visits from angels and Jesus giving her the keys to financial blessings. This part is only one minute, but I will leave the full link below. Um, a couple of years ago, I, cause I do see angels every day, but when it's for me, like an encounter for me, like there's obviously a different feeling and whatever to it, this angel drops in and I'm like, oh, hello, you know, type of a thing. And it was holding a key up like this. And then it had a ring and it had three keys hanging. And I, you know, the other ones are very personal to me, but when it got to the last key, as it was telling me what each key was, um, all of a sudden, all these other angels showed up and I'd never heard the term angels of harvest. And all of a sudden, um, Jesus is there and Jesus proceeds to tell me that I was being given the authority mm -hmm. to send the angels of harvest to go back through people's generational lines and pick up any blessings, mantles, giftings, callings, anything that was mm -hmm. unused in the spirit. And people wonder why we try to warn people about Bethel. And just look at Sean Bolts lapping up this fairy tale. Anything that was wrong mm. anything that was wrong So let's take a look at who the angels of harvest are. In the parable of the weeds, Jesus explains this to his disciples. It starts in Matthew 13, 37. Jesus answered, The one who sowed the good seed is the Son of Man. The field is the world, and the good seed stands for the people of the kingdom. The weeds are the people of the evil one, and the enemy who sows them is the devil. The harvest is at the end of the age, and the harvesters are angels. So these are the harvester angels, and what happens to the people that get harvested? The next verse tells us, As the weeds are pulled up and burned in the fire, so it will be at the end of the age. The Son of Man will send out his angels, and they will weed out of his kingdom everything that causes sin and all who do evil. They will throw them into the blazing furnace, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. So this is what the harvester angels do, and you can read more about that in Revelation 14. But Jenna says that Jesus gave her the authority to send these angels back into people's generational lines to pick up any blessings, mantles, giftings, or callings that were unused. Folks, these are the people of 2 Peter that exploit other people with made-up stories. Bethel is like a gang of false teachers that has no discernment when picking leaders and puts people like this in positions of power to further deceive people. May it be Chris Vallotton, Todd White, Bill Johnson, or any of their other leaders. They all make up stories and wow their audience further down the road of deceit and create a desire to experience these same things. Read your Bibles, my friends, and you will not fall for this nonsense. And as always, leave your thoughts and comments below. And until next time, take care and God bless.